Hi, I'm Patty Rasmussen, owner of the Terrace Inn here in beautiful Bayview, Michigan. I'm really excited to be part of this history series with Blast from the Past with Emmett County. Let's go inside where I can tell you more of the history and mystery of this historic and unique inn. Hi, I'm Beth Peel. I'm Emmett County's Communications Director and I'm here with Patty Rasmussen in the lobby of the Terrace Inn and we're going to talk about the history a bit. I would like to know when the inn was built and who were the original owners and how did you come to own the Terrace Inn? The inn was built in 1911 by Earl Mead who was an architect in the area. He built several of the Bayview Cottages and the owner was Justine Duvall and her husband William Okay. and she was actually the owner of the inn, not her husband, which was unusual back then. This is not the first Terrace Inn. Oh, that's no. interesting. This is the second modern version. Where was the first? The first Terrace Inn was in the, um, what is now the parking lot. They actually tore down three cottages to build this inn. How interesting. Mm -hmm. And that was an octagon shape. Okay. And much smaller than this. This is very big for the time. This is four stories arts and crafts style and that was more the gingerbread style but an octagon house. So how did you come to own the Terrace then? Well we used to come up here, of course we love Petoskey, I always liked coming back here in Bayview and looking at all the cottages and taking pictures and one day we were looking through a magazine and we saw it was for sale and so my imagination went wild <laughs> and I told Mo I thought it would be really neat to come up here and buy this place. And he wanted a restaurant, always wanted to run a restaurant, so. So that was seven years ago? Actually, it was May 2004. Okay, so and you just was, celebrated your 101st? Yes, we did. Anniversary here. Yes, we did. There are a lot of interesting connections in Emmett County and in Bayview. I'm sure you've probably had some very unique guests over the years here at the Terrace Inn. Any stories of people who've stayed here? Yes, um, William Jennings Bryan. He stayed here, and actually, his um, he is related to the Duvalls, oh. to uh, William Duvall, and the Rombauers. Irma Rombauer, her last name's Becker, well, is now wrote the Joy of Cooking, and she got a lot of her inspiration while she stayed here in Bayview, and she was very good friends with the owners here. Is your restaurant open to the public? Oh yes. Speaking of good food. Yes, it sure is. Um, there's been a restaurant here, what they call a cafe since the beginning and it was so busy that they often used the cottage just down there that they also own for the overflow guests and I said I wish that was like that today we're we're very busy especially in the summer but this time of year we are open on the weekends for dinner okay and all year round and all year round and all year round mm -hmm. except for March we do close in March okay but it's this beautiful time of year to be here and speaking of this time of year it's fall we do have some fun weekends. One uh, we call Ghost Hunters, and that's a little bit of a mystery of this place, which I can't tell you a whole lot about because it is a secret, um, is that there, there was a death in 1926. Here at the inn? Here at the inn. And it was, um, we're not sure what happened, but I found an article in the library, in the archives, and it was in the, what they call the Petoskey Evening Sun back then. Okay. And all I know is that it was on the third floor, and his name was Edward, and his wife's name was Elizabeth. And I have a file that's been kept over the years of people and what they saw. They saw them, and or they saw apparitions. Mm -hmm. So we've had some different things happen, and we are having a paranormal group come for an investigation. And when is that? That is the last weekend in October. And is that, st is that open to the public? It's open to weekend? the public. Mm -hmm. We have a package. Well, most people are staying here the whole weekend. Oh, okay. Because Friday night it starts out, and they are going to show video from previous um, experiences here and what they saw. And who are the folks that are coming? Kat Tudson and Bev Rydell, their sisters. And the only thing I can say I personally experienced was the Victrola going around by itself in the dining room. And then just the other day, I saw, uh, I was reading the file, because people, we let them take it out, but they have to turn it okay. back in. Um, somebody else saw that same thing happen at three in the morning. They came down from upstairs and they heard something and it was the, the Victrola, which plays 78 records. 
Oh my goodness. Yeah, but you have to crank it to make it work. Wow. Yeah. And so I was 10 feet from it. It was going by itself when I, when I heard it. And I, what did you do? Well, I went up to it. This is weird. It stopped when I got a few feet from it. And I wanted, so I, then I kept walking up to see if the needle was even on it. There's a diamond needle. Sure. And it was loose on there. It was on there, but it had stopped. So I, I couldn't figure out what was going on. And I thought, well, maybe it's a slanted floor, but no, it just occasionally does that. Do you still have rooms available for that weekend this year? Only if I get a cancellation. Okay. I, I, am, I am booked this year. We do it every year. Okay. Yep, we do it every year. And there's a book that you can get um, to see what was found. Um, and there's actually, you can go on YouTube and find the video and listen to the EVP. Well, how interesting. Yeah. Thanks interesting. for all the good details about this historic inn. Thank you.